Hello again, everyone. Today, I want to show you how to build some super simple frames for your photographs uh, using gradient fills. And I already have the program running with a photograph in the background. And the first thing I want to do is I want to expand the canvas by 200 pixels, which is the width of the frame I want to build. <clears throat> so I select a relative and I type in 200 here and 200 here and we'll say OK to that. The next step is to just zoom in a little bit and I'm going to add some guidelines to make this simpler. So we click right on the ruler. You may have to turn the ruler on because it isn't on by default. And we line up these ruler guides to the corners of the image. Make sure that they are just right. Just like that. Now, I'm going to use the polygon selection tool. And I'm going to start up here in the corner. Click right there and let it snap. You might want to turn on snapping for this. Let it snap right into the corner. Go to this one, let it snap, and then go up here again, and then finish it off down here. Now, we're going to add one layer above, just like that, and then we're going to create a gradient. Actually, I already have a gradient pre-made. I'll just show you what nodes I used. As you can see, I'm using grayscale because that allows me to add some color to it later. Okay, I'm going to say OK to this one. And I am going to make sure I have a nice straight line and I'm going to fill this area with my gradient. Just like that. We'll go back here and we will turn off our selection. We can even get rid of these guidelines now if you'd like because we won't need them again. Just drag them up. Drag them off to the sides, tops and bottoms and they'll be gone. So now we have one part of the frame. This is very simple to do. We simply copy or duplicate that layer. Say OK to that. And we are going to flip vertically the layer. We're going to then pick it up and we're going to let it snap into the bottom down here. I think you can see where we're going with this. Now we simply want to duplicate the layer again. Say OK. And this time we're going to rotate it the layer clockwise. We're going to take it over and snap it into that corner. Now as you can see, it lays over top of my bottom section of the frame. So all I really need to do is drag this one below the other two layers. And that immediately tightens it up. Now we're going to duplicate that one to make the opposite side of the frame. And we'll say OK. And we're going to image, flip the layer horizontally. We're going to pick it up, drag it over here, and there you go. A nice tight frame. This time, we're going to select all of our frame pieces. Hold on here. It likes to play tricks on me. Just select each one, and then say from the Layers menu, 
merge selected. Now we have one frame sitting above our image of the cat. Now this is where the fun starts, where you use layer effects to change the frame in as many different ways as you want to. Obviously the first thing we want to do is add a drop shadow, uh, make the distance a little higher, make the blur a little bit more, maybe the intensity. That would all depend on the photograph, of course, underneath. And the second thing we want to do is turn on 3D layer effects. Now we could leave the lighting on, which kind of uh, makes the image even more realistic. But for right now, we're going to turn it off and just play with the reflection map. We want to choose one of the uh, indoor reflection maps, let's say. And uh, let's see. Let's pick this one. And we want to change this to multiply. Maybe turn the opacity down a little bit. And change the rotation some too. And maybe even the scale down some. And instantly you have a nice reflective frame. Turn that down a little bit more. And you can even play with the color fill to change what color the uh, frame is going to be. Obviously you can again play with the different settings, different blend modes, to get all kinds of different effects. Change the color to yellow, or pink, or red, and there you have it. Almost any kind of frame can be made using a simple uh, gray gradient built frame right over top of your photographs.